So this morning, we're gonna reinforce the back bumper of this fifth wheel because I have this cargo bag mounted on some brackets and I want to uh, just make sure that the bumper doesn't fail. So we purchased these brackets that go on to the four inch tubing right here, go around underneath and come back up the other side. They're made by a company called um, Safety Struts. They're like 64 bucks. The manufacturer claims that you install these underneath the bumper, like so. Sorry about the shaky hands. And it will stop the bumper from twisting side to side as the load bounces. Because it'll hold 400 pounds. So that's what we're going to do this morning. You get two of these in the box instructions spacers and um, the nut and bolt kit all right and all the instructions here that you'll need to complete your job all right so let's go it says there's self-tapping screws or bolts 1764th is the pilot hole all right, don't tighten that up more than 20 foot pounds. So, it should be pretty easy to do. I already marked the bolts where they're going to go. It looks like this. All right. All right. I marked the holes. Use a center punch. These are really nice. You just push on them and they pop and they put a little, little mark in there. Okay. Like that, see? All right. We're gonna use the, the bolt, the bolt, 20 volt. Make some pilot holes. So here we go. All right, be right back. Okay, so now you can see we got the three pilot holes. All right, now let's drill them out to 1764s and then we'll bolt the bracket on with the spacers. Be right back. Now that we got the Three holes drilled, 17, 30 seconds. Okay, that's done. Now we give, these are the bolts and washers they supply. You're gonna need a half inch ratchet. Grab one of your bolts. I would use Loctite just to make sure they don't come off or vibrate loose. All right, and then uh, See if I can do this one-handed. Of course not. Okay. Uh, you have to. I'll have to be right back. I'm gonna use this Loctite. This is what I use. I just put it on threads like that. And then start threading into the, the first hole. So there's the first one started. Now notice there's no washers in between the bracket. Because see the boss right here? This welded brace is going to stick out. So you see the, on this particular model, see the gap? You're going to fill that gap up with the supplied washers. Okay, so let's tighten this one down. 
and then we'll slide the washers in between that gap. Be right back. And there it is with the washers behind the bracket. Okay, that's two down. I'm gonna do the bottom one now. Okay. Okay. Be right back. And that's it, all done. Installation was really, really easy. All right. And now we have the other side of the camper. All right, thanks for watching. So now we got the port boat I don't know if you can see that. It's stowed away underneath the camper over top of the axles see I have the bars right there just in case but it's strapped up it's 14 feet long it's over top of the axles of the fifth wheel camper all right So it fits nicely under there safely. It's not going anywhere. And then all my stuff that I uh, use to put it all together, you know, like the, um, oh, let's see. I'll show you what I got in the bag. So I got my fuel in here, my oil, my wheels, my paddles, the motor, the benches, the seats, everything fits in here. The anchor, um, I'm gonna be putting the life vest in here and that should be it. I mean, everything can fit on the back bumper. We're ready to go wherever we want.